The first segment of the Hot 7 Nightly News is brought to you by Flo. Tonight, a daughter fears the worst as her mentally ill mother remains missing. The St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association cautions the public on the ultimate cost of their reckless behavior. And a virtual Caribbean Youth Parliament brings hope for climate change. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovelace and Amy Joseph. Good night. It is Friday, the 24th of September, 2021. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. I'm Nisha Charles. Thank you for joining us. The daughter of a missing woman who was born in St. Lucia is seeking the assistance of the public in finding out what exactly has become of her mother. Lillian Jean Baptist was reported missing from her East End London home in July 2021. According to her daughter, Amanda Alexander, Jean Baptist suffers from paranoid schizophrenia. Alexander has not physically seen her mother for a number of years. The doctors warned me to stay away because she had threatened to kill me a couple of times. And so I haven't seen my mother. I must be a good 15, 16 years. I was away in Ireland and the UK police called me to say that um, she was missing. Her GP was concerned that she hadn't been in for her medication. And because we've had COVID, um, he raised the alarm with social services who contacted the police who in turn contacted me. Um, they said that her bank account hadn't been used since July 2019 and her, no, sorry, her, uh, December 2019 and her British passport says that she last entered the country in July 2019 and the reason why they brought in the search to St. Lucia is because the, the, the concierge where she lives, there was a note written where she said, that she's going to St. Lucia to look after a sick family member. Alexander fears that the worst has happened to her mother and that her mother's husband may have something to do with her disappearance. It's been well known that he wasn't treating my mother well and when my mother married him, her increase in mental institution, her, her uh, admission to mental institutions had increased. Where mum used to be in a mental institution once a year, maybe once every 18 months, it started increasing to two, three times a year. Mm -hmm. uh, even when I called to speak to my mother, he would tell me, who are you? And so it was well known he isolated my mother. Um, there's been various allegations. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me, Nisha, if something happened to her by his hand it wouldn't surprise me so when the police in the uk called my mother's mobile number a man picked up the phone to say no one was there by that name and put the phone down she's even asked her mother's brother joseph modest to see whether or not her mother is in her saint lucian home um, and i've spoken to him about it and i've asked him if he wouldn't mind sending a family member or a friend to go and knock on her door because she lives in South Borsegia. Um, but he, he said nobody will go because my mother, because of her illness, she's chased off everybody. 75-year-old Lillian John Baptist is from Viefo and is approximately 5 feet 9 inches tall. Anyone who has seen her should contact the local law enforcement officials at 456-3712. Four individuals were rushed to hospital on Friday morning following a vehicular accident at Active Hill Cash Trees. Information received by the St. Lucia Fire Services states that there was a multiple vehicle collision. Fire Service spokesperson Stacy Joseph has more details. Officers at the Fire Service Headquarters and the Grosley Fire Station responded to a call relating to a motor vehicular incident at Active Hill in Castries on Friday, 24th September at approximately 9.35 a.m. The information received stated that there was a multiple vehicle collision. Emergency personnel found and assessed four individuals who were involved in the incident. The patients, who sustained various injuries on their bodies, were immobilized and transferred to the awaiting ambulances where their wounds were treated and they were provided rapid emergency transportation to the OKAU hospital 
for further medical care. The nature of the accident is being investigated by the relevant authorities. And one man is injured following a shooting incident which took place at Wapatat Cash Trees on Thursday evening. The St. Lucia Fire Service received a distress call about 6.50 p.m. and dispatched an ambulance to the scene. Officers at the fire service headquarters responded to an emergency call regarding a shooting incident on Thursday, 23rd September at Wapatat Cash Trees. The emergency crew found one male individual lying face down on the ground. An assessment of the patient revealed penetrating and puncture wounds on his body. He was transferred to the ambulance for further assessment and care, and the patient was then transported in a stable condition to the OKEU hospital, where he was left in the care of medical personnel. Police have launched an investigation into the shooting incident. And still to come, COVID-19 pressure continues to weigh on essential workers, Vaccination rates continue to be low at the Borderly Correctional Facility and the U.S. Special Envoy to Haiti resigns. The first segment of the Hot 7 Nightly News was brought to you by Flow.